nervous. Hi, um, it's really weird sitting down and like talking directly to the camera because all of the videos that I've posted prior on this channel, I haven't done that, so this is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> so excuse my awkwardness throughout this video, um, but this is going to be my first floss tube video. Um, my name is Andy. I admittedly haven't been cross-stitching that long and have been watching floss tube videos for even shorter than that. Um, I've been cross-stitching for, I'd say a little over a year with zero to no discipline. Um, when I first started, I did it for about maybe a month or two, and then I stopped, and I'm just now picking it up again. Um, but it's something that I really, really love doing, and when I found the floss tube community just a few months ago, I fell in love with that too. Um, it's, it seems like such a warm, welcoming, supportive, positive community, and I really want to be a part of that. Um, not to mention, like, I'm sure all of you floss tubers out there know it's so hard to find people around you in real life that are into this hobby and into this craft. Um, more particularly, like with my age group, none of my peers are into cross-stitching, um, at least around me. Um, so I think it's really great to have this community online where everyone is into it, everyone can relate and can have these discussions and support each other in it. And I really wanna be a part of that. So this is me taking the plunge. Um, yeah. So I figured the best way to get started with this whole floss tube thing is to do the Know Your Needle Worker tag. So I'm just going to dive right into it. So question one, where do you live? I live in Maine um, in the United States. Two, what do you do for a living? Currently I am a front desk agent for a resort, but I am going to school to be a vet tech. Three, do you have any other hobbies than cross stitch? I have a ton. Um, I love to stay busy. I love crocheting, reading, writing, playing ukulele. I love music, um, video games. I mean, um, yes, yes I do. Four, do you have any kids? No, um, I'm 20 years old and I definitely feel like at this point in my life I really don't want or need any children. <laughs> Five, do you have any pets? Um, I live with my parents at the moment and they have two Springer Spaniels, um, Jasmine and Alice, that you've probably seen pop up in some of my earlier videos. Um, I also have two fish. One is my mom's and one is mine, a beta named Hodor. Six, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is the 2006 version of Pride and Prejudice. Seven, what are your favorite TV shows? Lost is easily number one. I love Lost. <laughs> the Office, um, I really love I Love Lucy. Eight, what's your favorite music genre? I love classic rock. I really like the older stuff, 50s music especially. I love Ella Fitzgerald, I adore her, um, Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole, Frank Sinatra, the older stuff. Nine, what's your favorite book? Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So good. Ten, what word describes you best? I would say quirky. I think I definitely have a lot of quirks. Um, I guess that's the nice way of saying I'm a weirdo. But yeah, I would say quirky. I think that finishes it. Um, so what I'd like to do is just kind of go into kind of what I've finished, um, which isn't much, spoiler alert, <laughs> and the whips I currently have, and just sort of my plans, I guess. We'll just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> so as far as FFOs go, um, I don't really have any. I don't have any to show you. I do have two from that first um, cross-stitching kick I went through. 
like over a year ago now. Um, I do have a picture of my first ever, so I'll just throw that, that up here. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with it. I think it came out really cute, especially for my first ever cross stitch. I do recall the back of it looking awful. <laughs> um, my second one was this little sushi roll that I did. I don't have a picture of that, which is probably for the best. Um, but both I think my parents have somewhere. Um, yeah. But that's really all I did for cross stitching. I do remember starting a couple of things, just freehand stuff, not with a pattern, and never going through with it. Um, and then I stopped. So where I'm at now, I have two whips. I guess one, and the other one would be a start. So I'm just gonna go into that now. Um, my current whip is actually for my boyfriend's birthday, which is on the 12th of September, I'm pretty sure, I hope. <laughs> so if he happens to be watching this right now, I would suggest he click off, unless he wants his birthday present ruined. Um, so I found this shop on Etsy a couple of weeks ago um, when I was really starting to want to get back into cross stitching and I was really starting to think about it again and just having that stitching itch to, I just really wanted to start something and I thought it would be such a great um, birthday present for my boyfriend because he really loves like handmade gifts from me, he really likes when I just make things for him. I mean, he keeps all of my little doodles that I do and everything like that, so I think it would be a really fun birthday present for him. So I found this shop on Etsy. Uh, it's like monochrome stitch. I don't know there's I don't know the exact name. I'll link it below. They make um, monochromatic stitches of a lot of classic um, pop culture figures and old music figures. They just have a whole bunch of patterns for like four dollars each, which I thought was really good price. Um, it's instant download. So I found one um, that like immediately I was like that has to be for my boyfriend. Um, it's the iconic Beatles heads icon. Um, it was just the whole pattern, the whole uh, PDF file was just three pages and I was really happy to have this as like my first thing to get back into cross stitching because it's really simple, it's all one color, it's all full cross stitch, um, and it calls for 8 o'clock, 14, uh, and 310, but obviously you could switch that out for whatever color you want. Oh, I do want to apologize for my coffee stain here. <laughs> Spilled some coffee on it yesterday. Um, so this is the first page, Paul and George. Oop. And this is the second page with Ringo and John. And I admittedly haven't gotten that far on it. I did just start this a couple of days. I actually have restarted it twice because I was making rookie mistakes. Um, I, it calls to do two over two. And so I started doing two over two. But I'm not using a DMC brand. I'm using this cheap off brand that I got off of Amazon back when I first started and I have so much of it and it's such poor quality and the strands of it, the like floss itself is so thin um, so I had to bulk it up to 3 over 3 and even that I'm finding is just not working as well as I'd hope or it's probably me, like just my craftsmanship. Also sorry for the state of my um, project here. This is all I have, uh, which is just the top of his head. It's um, the first two rows of his head here. So, I mean, I feel like I have gotten a lot done, and I know it's going to go much quicker now with the rest of it, because it's all the fun stuff, like his eyebrows and his mustache. Um, but this has been so tedious because it's all black, just squares of black. So that took me a couple of days. 
Um, not that I was like really concentrating on this project, but I want to get it done as soon as possible because my hope was to do another pattern for him. There were three actually that I want to do, but even working on this now, I'm realizing that I probably won't be able to get that done in time for his birthday. So just start with this project and get through that. Um, but as I've been working on this and watching Floss 2 videos, oh, who was I watching? It was, I think her name is, it's like the unsingable Mary something. I don't know. She, I was watching hers and she showed this huge project she did. That was her first one. Um, full coverage piece. It was this beautiful sunflower. And I was like, I really want to do like a big project that, you know, fully finished and everything. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to apologize now. I don't know all of the lingo yet, being a newbie here. So bear with me. I'm sure a lot of you are cringing. <laughs> um, so I was working on this and I was just like already thinking like I really want to start something big. I really want to have something big to work on. And also while I've been working on this, it's like I really want to switch off to something else because all this black is just killing me. Um, so I would pause every so often and go on Etsy and um, other websites and look at patterns. Um, so I started yesterday morning and I found this really gorgeous pattern um, for like, it was half off for like $2.63, so $2 and some change. And I favorited it and I was like, maybe I'll buy this, um, it's gorgeous. And then like an hour later, I cracked and I bought it and I was like, okay, well I'll just keep it and then once I finish the Beatles one, I will um, start this. Uh, and I'll show you the pattern. Uh, I don't remember the name. I guess it has the name of the shop. Squared cross stitch. I'll link that below too, um, as well as a link to this pattern because it's only two sixty three, and I think it's beautiful. So it says here it's um, an Auburn Beauty by James William Godward, and it was done in it was done in eighteen ninety five during the neoclassical period, and it's just beautiful. So it ends up being about 20 by 23 inches. Um, and so I was in this mindset of, oh, I'll just start it um, after I finish the Beatles one. But then I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so I was already out. So I was like, oh, well, since I'm already out and about, might as well go to my nearest Michaels <laughs> and just look at what they have. But when I walked in and I walked all the way back to the needleworking section, they had expanded it. So, like, my heart just soared. They had expanded all the cross stitching stuff, all of the DMC. Um, they added more Ada cloth. They added stands and cue snaps and just so much stuff. Like, I was like, totally, like, it was so exciting and just like perfect timing, you know? Um, and I was really concerned that I wasn't going to find Ada cloth quite big enough for this project, but they had added more that was of bigger sizes. So I do have a little bit of a haul. <laughs> so this is a fun first video. Um, so I got this, which is the Michaels brand Ada, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> 14 count, which is what the pattern calls for. And this is 30 by 36, so I'll have plenty of room. Um, and this isn't an off-white color. They had, of course, the regular white, but I thought the off-white would look so much better with this pattern. I'm definitely not quite ready to use fabric. I definitely feel more comfortable using the Ada cloth. It's a lot stiffer and just will be easier for me. Um, so I'm excited to use this, though. A little nervous of the size, I will be honest. This was, I think, $8. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> um, and then I thought, I, I brought the whole pattern into Michael's and I was like, okay, I'll just get a couple of the DMCs just to start me off. I decided I'd only get um, what I could for page one for the pattern. 
and I did the math. There's like at least 80 colors that I need. So the total that would come out to was around 30 bucks because at my Michaels, they sell them for like 39 cents each. So if you get a little bit at a time, it's not that bad, but if you buy them all at once, I just, I don't have the money for that. But I couldn't help myself um, when I saw one of these sorting tins, which, not tin, container. <laughs> I've seen um, a lot of you guys using these for bigger projects and I was like, I need one of those because I lose things all the time. I'm always taking my projects all over the place with me. So I thought this would be the for, for the best, especially when I'm slowly collecting all the DMC I need. So this was $3, I believe. Um, it came with 50, oh shoot, what are these called? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, they came with 50 of, um, I don't know the name. You know what I mean though, the, the, the things. Um, so I have to, I wrapped some of them in preparation and then the rest of the colors I haven't because I got lazy. It was taking a really long time. <laughs> but um, I, I did get a bunch of colors while I was there. Again, just for the first page and the total um, that I came up with when I got to the register was a little under $15 because I had a 40% off of one regular priced item coupon. So I think it must have took it off of the ADA because it knocked it from like a little under 18 down to 14 which I'm a cheapo so that was really great for me. I did just want to talk about though how gorgeous this color palette is. When I had all of the DMCs together it's just beautiful like I cannot wait to start this although I know I was saying that I wanted to start a new pattern because I was getting a little sick of working with all of the black um, on the beetles but you know if we take a look at the pattern I don't know what I was thinking because <laughs> it's like the vast majority of it is black but that's okay because I'm really excited about it and I'm so in love with this pattern and this painting. I, I can't wait. So I have started like organizing this. Um, watching a couple of you guys' videos, I saw how you would write the number of the thread and then um, the symbol that the pattern uses. So I started doing that and I'll have to finish doing that. <laughs> if I find the motivation to. Um, so that's my mini haul, I would say. Um, so I, I guess I wouldn't call it a whip. I definitely would call it a start, but I know I'm going to start it as soon as I finish editing this video. So I know I don't have that much to show at the moment, but I do think it'll be very interesting to document from like, the very beginning of my cross-stitching and to see how I progress. Um, and definitely with this um, Auburn Beauty pattern to see it from literally nothing to if I finish it, when I finish it. <laughs> I also, um, for documentation's sake, want to show the back of my Beatles work, which I didn't think was, um, I, didn't, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, there's, I mean, this is the tale from the last stitch I did that I just haven't taken care of yet. Um, it's not that bad. It's so crinkled though. I am left-handed so I'm holding it like this <laughs> and going across. And when I continue it, I'm definitely going to go down to Ringo and go across that way. But yeah. While I'm also showing things that I'm working on, I thought I would show just throw in my crocheting project that I'm doing right now. For any of you guys out there who also crochet, I recently taught myself how to make granny squares and now I'm making my first blanket, which I don't know if I'll be able to get, I should be able to get most of it in the frame, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to show this properly, but um, <laughs> this this is it 
I, uh, like two weeks ago, taught myself how to connect them with the join as you go method. So I'm starting my third row here. And I'm really proud of myself. Um, I usually don't stick to projects um, in terms of crochet. So I'm really in love with this. And I really love my color palette and everything. Just thought I would throw that in. Because that'll be cool to document as well. I'm sure I'll put in more progress of this. Definitely when it's finished, at the very least. Um, but, yeah. I think that's about it. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I hope I made sense. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know I'm just, I'm so new to this, but I'm very excited. I love cross-stitching. Um, it's such a meditative process and there's just something very fulfilling about slowly making progress on it um, and then of course when it's finished but I do think that's it for today uh, I don't know when I'll post again definitely when I start making more progress I definitely see myself doing um, quick stitches so <laughs> so thank you so much for watching if any of you guys out there have tips for a newbie when it comes to cross stitching please leave them down below for me. Um, I would love to get any kind of advice I can to improve my work. Um, yeah. <laughs> and to all the other people out there making foster videos, thank you. I love watching them. Um, they've been so helpful and encouraging uh, for me to get back into this hobby. And I uh, will see you in the next one.